Welcome to Chaos Cortex. Hey guys, welcome back. So a few months ago I created a 3D printed phone holder to help me out with some of my recording for these videos. And I created a video for it, um, you can check it out here or link in the description. And at the time I said that I was going to make some different attachments and stuff for it. Um, so that time has finally come and the attachment that I made this time is a 3D printed tripod. And it'll just attach like the mic stand holder did for the last one and should be fully compatible. So let's take a closer look at this. Okay guys, here we have the tripod, and as you can see on the top, that is just my um, 3D printed phone holder. And then um, this down here is the tripod, and it just mounts on that with a couple of nuts and bolts. So as you can see, it is standing, um, and the legs are adjustable. It's not the most elegant solution, but it works, and that seems to kind of be a theme among my... Um, 3D print videos here. It's not elegant, but it works. But I'll take it. As you can see here, I kept the theme of the springs to keep things together. Um, and let's actually take a look at how these legs are put together. First of all, you're going to need some nuts and bolts and some springs. And I'll put more information in the description to as to what sizes these are, so you can get the exact ones I used. Um, and then when you print the leg files, you'll need to print three of them to give you the tripod. Um, you'll end up with these three pieces. And actually this one right here is um, open on the top. The file that you'll be printing will be closed on the top. Um, this was one of my test prints, but I figured it'd be a good example to show you what it's doing on the inside a little bit better. So take these pieces and what you're gonna wanna do is slide this um, in the end here and it should slide relatively easily. And then you take this piece here and you're gonna to wanna to flip it upside down like so. And then this long part goes in the hole right here and it should slide down and will actually lock the, um, the inside part into place. And then as you can see right here, there are tabs for the spring, which I've got attached right there. So when you want to adjust it, all you have to do is push right here, and it should allow you to move this part relatively freely. And then, once you have it in place, you can slide that back down. This will lock and will not be able to move anymore. And then there is just a hole that will allow you to put a screw through to attach to this main body piece. And you can see one of the screws sticking through right there. And then there's just three holes on there. So that should work out pretty well. All right, well, I will be putting these files up on various websites, including Thingiverse and Umagine. Um, links down in the description. 
And I think I'll be making a couple slight adjustments to these. Um, the biggest one being that these legs, I was going to put a little rounded part or something to allow them to stand um, a little bit better and not just be on an edge. And then I will probably make some revisions to this in the future as I use it and kind of figure out um, what my needs are and stuff for it. One thing I'd really like to do is get some sort of system that I can put in the middle here that will allow me to adjust the size of all three legs at once. So I will do that eventually. Well, there you have it. 3D printed tripod. Um, like I said before, not the most elegant um, and efficient solution, but it works and um, it'll suit all my purposes for right now. So I will be re revisiting this eventually and making it nicer. So if you have any suggestions for that, um, leave them down in the comments. And that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps me out a lot. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chaos Core Tech. And once you've done all that, check out some of these other videos I've made. Thanks for watching, guys.